Good evening and welcome to the 24th 40 Under 40 celebration. I'm Marnie Nesher, president of the Central New York Business Journal, and I'll be one of your hosts this evening as we showcase 40 individuals who are making a difference in our community. 40 Under 40 began in 1998, and wow, that was a long time ago. There are 960 alumni out there making a difference. We're even starting to see second generations receiving this highly coveted recognition. To learn more about tonight's honorees and stay up to date on the latest business news in our community, please subscribe to the Central New York Business Journal. We cover 16 counties and are available in both print and digital formats. Tonight's event would not be possible without the support of local businesses in our community helping to recognize their honorees. So let's take a moment to thank our sponsors. Thank you for believing in and honoring our business and community leaders. We are grateful for your support and glad to have you join us this evening. Thank you to presenting sponsor m and Bank, our media partners, the Central New York Business Journal and Cumulus Media. Headshots photographed by the very talented Anna Gill Photography, 325 Productions and their creative staff for producing this event virtually. Now I'd like to introduce Steve Gorzinski, Central New York Regional President of m and to say a few words. Thank you, Marnie, and welcome to everyone joining us this afternoon. I'm Steve Gorzinski, Central New York Regional President for m and Bank. This year, with the challenges we have faced, we've learned a lot about ourselves our communities, and the importance of leadership. When confronted by crisis, great leaders step up, stand tall, and pave the way forward. They also listen, learn, and adapt to best serve the needs of others. The 2021 Ford Under 40 exemplified this type of leadership. They put in the work necessary, always going above and beyond to drive positive change here in our community. These young professionals serve as examples for us all. Our team at m and Bank shares their passion, we get involved as volunteers, and we invest in our neighbors through charitable grants and lending. We strive to understand what's important to our customers, our communities, and colleagues. Like this year's 40 Under 40, we believe our community is at its best when we work together. As we navigate the uncertainty that remains ahead of us, I'll continue to look to the Central New York Business Journal's 40 Under 40 for inspiration on how best to serve, lead, and find balance, and I encourage others to join me in following their example. Thank you again, and congratulations to all of our 40 Under 40 honorees. A big shout out to tonight's gold sponsors. CNS Companies. Danable and McKee. Excellus. and Visions Federal Credit Union. Thank you to our silver sponsors this evening. Burritt Motors. Center State CEO. Hancock Estabrook. And N.K. Bandari. And finally, thank you to our bronze sponsors. Bowers & Company, Dwyer Architectural, Mohawk Valley Health Systems, and One Group. We know 40 Under 40 could not happen without our sponsors, but it also could not happen without our judges. This year we received more than 100 nominations, and these independent judges have the task of reading through each nomination, looking at each one subjectively and ranking the information based on a standard scoring sheet. It's much harder than it sounds, just ask the judges. So please put your hands together and thank our judging panel.
Beth Coughlin, Vice President, Market Manager at Cumulus Media. Dr. Imad Rahim, Kotuk Family Endowed Chair and Full Professor at Bellevue University. Christian Radzowitz, Vice President of Marketing at VIP Companies. Marika Trier, Executive Director for the Downtown Committee of Syracuse and our own Vance Mariner, Research Director at the Central New York Business Journal. Now I'm pleased to introduce our MC this evening, Tammy Palmer. And Tammy is a Senior Volunteer Recruitment Specialist for the American Red Cross. She focuses on finding and connecting volunteers with opportunities to help others. Hi, Tammy, and thanks for joining again this year. Oh, thank you, Marnie. I am very happy to be back for a couple of reasons. First, I mean, what better way to spend my day than making people feel good about their accomplishments? It's definitely a day well spent in the year 2021, friends. Just straight celebration of hard work, period. And second, I, I do know how it feels because I'm a 40 under 40 alumni dating back to 2007. And it does make you feel special, and it should. You earned it. Every office, every neighborhood needs people willing to go that extra mile. And tonight, that is you. As Marty mentioned, I'm with the Red Cross now. So if any of you fabulous overachievers want some free emergency preparedness training for the office, or if you want to put in some volunteer hours, let me know on LinkedIn, I'm on social media. You can email me at tammy.palmer at redcross.org. Back to you. No more delays. I am pleased to introduce you to some outstanding civic-minded believers and achievers. We begin with 35-year-old Jennifer Baker, who can be spotted in the halls of Marcellus High School, a familiar face for many there. She is a school counselor. Congratulations, Jennifer. And next up, 36-year-old Timothy Bennett. Make sure his community stays informed. All the news they need to know. He's the owner and publisher of the Portland Voice. Thirty-nine-year-old Miles Blundell keeps everything running smoothly as the director of golf and recreation for Oneida Nation Enterprises. Moving on to Tiffany Breck, who is 38, and she's making her mark as a program consultant for Life Labs Learning. Congratulations to 39-year-old Carrie Brown, the clinical director for Syracuse University Barn Center at the Arch Counseling. You may recognize 38-year-old Richard Burrett as the owner and president of Burrett Motors. Congratulations, Richard. Emily Carroll, who is 27 years old, fills the seat of marketing manager, following all the latest trends for drive research. Twenty-eight-year-old Calvin Corridors serves as the manager of neighborhood economic development for Center State CEO. Next up, we have Mark DeAngelis Jr. And he is the 29-year-old Vice President of Mark Anthony Homes. Mm -hmm. 
You're now at the point where rounding out the first group of 10, and that is Melbert de la Pena, 35 years old, and he is the owner of Upward Graphics. My favorite place to eat in CMY is Limp Lizard. Uh, Brewster Inn in Casanova. I have a lot of favorites, but my current right now is Salt City Market. I think my favorite place would be the Sherwood Inn in Skinny Alice. Home Team Pub out in Liverpool, where I'm from. Stratomia over here on the west side. I'd have to say Delmonico. I love the cartoon drawings on the wall. I think it's just a fun spot to go. Tully's. I like to eat at the preserve. My favorite place to eat in CNY has got to be the Turning Stone Steakhouse. I love to go to Possibilities. My family and I, we love going to the Heritage Hill Brew Pub up in Pompey. My go-to would be Possibilities. I like lemongrass. Thai food is awesome. My favorite place to eat in the central New York area is St. Urban. It's so innovative, it's delicious, and the chef is always keeping it fresh and new. Now the next group of 10 begins with a 29-year-old. Arlena Harris is the Director of Community Partnerships at Blueprint 15. Moving on to Caitlin Hetzler. She's 30 and a Senior Audit Manager with Danable and McKee. Thirty-eight-year-old Diana Yakimoski is the director of development for Housing Visions Unlimited. Thirty-nine-year-old Kavitha John Arden is a member of Busque Holstein. Congratulations on your achievements. 28-year-old Brandon Johnson is the executive director of MVHS Rehabilitation and Nursing Center. 32-year-old Alen Usage is the Finance Manager and Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee Chair at Habermas Corporation. 27-year-old Liam Kirst is a legislative aide in the office of State Senator John W. Mannion. Whitney Lash Marshall is 36 years old. She is the executive director at Baltimore Woods Nature Center. 38-year-old Stephen Lickstein is a partner at Newman and Lickstein. 39-year-old Sarah Mastrangelo is Vice President of Operations for the group Digital High. 's the spring I love the transition from all of the white and browns of the end of winter here in Syracuse to the emerging greens and new sights and smells of all of the natural world around us fall is my favorite season up here everything's so beautiful in the summer winter I uh, <laughs> love the outdoors uh, and and I uh, love hockey my favorite season is winter 
I love fall, especially in central New York. My love when it's warm, I love the summer. Fall. I have to say summer, love the sun, love going to the beach. It's just the best time all year round. Plus, Syracuse is cold for the majority of the year, so summer has to be it. It's summer, I hate winters. I can't do winters and I'm in upstate New York. Fall? because of football, which is cliche, but also because around here is just so different than any place else. To be honest, I enjoy having all four seasons here in Syracuse. That marks the halfway point, and we're gonna keep it moving right along with 28-year-old Demetrius McNeil for a presidential fellowship at Lemoyne College. Congratulations, Demetrius. Samantha Miller is 30 years old and spends her days as an environmental engineer for CHA Consulting. Well, if you spend a lot of time at the library, you may know Amanda Perrine the 39-year-old branch manager at the Sewell Branch in the Onondaga County Public Libraries. Brian Potter, also 39 years old, is a tax partner for Danable and McKee. And 36-year-old Joseph Rocca III is an audit partner at Bowers & Company CPAs. Jennifer Rousseau is 36 years old and is a client advisor and business insurance specialist for One Group and Why. Lauren Russett is getting in early with us at the age of 22. She's an executive director with the Baldwinsville Chamber of Commerce and a business owner with Russett PR. Thirty-five-year-old Melissa Seifter is the owner of Aging Advocates CNY and serves as the Aging Life Care Manager and certified dementia practitioner. She also supports care management and senior real estate specialties. Mansoor Shahid is 38 years old. He's the chief operating officer and executive vice president of Mohawk Valley Health Systems. And congratulations to 37-year-old Brendan Sheehan, a member of Bond, Shenick, and King. My favorite movie is 500 Days of Summer. I really, really love Finding Nemo. When Harry Met Sally. Good Will Hunting. My favorite movie in the entire world is Clueless, so a throwback to the 90s. Probably one that I would watch anytime, whenever it's on, is probably uh, the Back to the Future, the three of those movies. Miracle. Probably a classic I can always go back to and watch is the movie Tommy Boy. My favorite movie is probably Rad Racing from the 80s. bringing it home now with the final 10. A lot of talent so far, more to come. 39-year-old Victoria Shires is the National Key Accounts Manager at Bell's Brewery. Congratulations. <music> 38-year-old Travis Smith is the Senior Audit Manager at Dermody, Burke, and Brown. Moving 
forward with 39-year-old Tim Strong. He is the Public Relations and Community Engagement Manager at Visions Federal Credit Union. Thirty-seven-year-old Allison Tolls is the senior interior designer and market leader for NK Bandari Architecture and Engineering. Thirty-six-year-old Virgie Townsend is the director of marketing and communications at Vera House. 38-year-old Nathan Van Wee is the department manager at CNS Companies. 37-year-old Stephanie Vavanes is the founder and executive recruiter for SMV Recruiting. 37. Vernon Williams Jr., also 37 years old, is a manager for Burlington Stores. 34 years old and the Professional Development and Diversity Officer and Attorney at Hancock Estabrook. 39. Kelly Yahi is 39 and she's a partner at Dwyer Architectural. to describe me is integrative and the reason is that I love to take different parts of different things and different people and put them together to create even better things. I would say determined. Leader. Compassionate. One word to describe myself is strong. Dedicated. Genuine. Empathetic. Focused. One word to describe myself I would use would be authentic. Dedicated. Persistent because I will never give up and my friends and family definitely know that. Enthusiastic. I would say optimistic. I think I'm a pretty optimistic person. I try to see the, the good side of things when I can. The one word to describe myself is dynamic. I'm constantly changing yet full of life. I'd say versatile just because I do a lot of different things and uh, I'm fortunate to work in an organization that allows me to do that. I'd say driven. Pretty ambitious, so uh, not afraid to work hard. One word to describe myself would be energetic because I love what I do so I provide all the energy I have to make myself successful. One word to describe myself would be candid because I just love being my true self. Fully committed to everything uh, everything that I'm involved with. Dynamic. Someone recently called me that and I actually looked up the official definition and I love that it means to always be evolving with a positive attitude and I love that. I would say passionate. Anybody who works for me, uh, once I get on a topic, I don't stop, and uh, I'm very passionate. I would say genuine, uh, but if I had to choose two, I would say genuine and dedicated. I would say creative. Brave. I'm determined. Resilient. Passionate. Positive. <laughs> I think I'm confident. I would say innovative. It's one of the things I pride myself on is I can create ideas and think of ideas outside of the box. Softy. Uh, I think my height and build is deceiving but I'm actually a giant baby uh, so softy is a, a fitting word. <laughs> my one word to describe myself is tenacious. Driven, I would say. Thought. Genuine. I think the best word is team player which I know is hyphenated two words but whether it's at work being collaborative or out on the volleyball court. I love being part of a team and making things happen. One word to describe me, um, I guess it would be committed. 
I'd say etc. You know, and I know that's a weird word, but I feel like it's me. Um, I, I've always been one to feel like I had to learn to do everything, different tasks. So it's almost like I'm constantly reinventing and things like that. So, um, but if you said that wasn't one I could use, um, I definitely know that I'm blessed. You know, so blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the 40 under 40 class of 2021. Come on, you can do it from home. Congratulations for not only making your mark in our community, but also earning the recognition of your colleagues and friends. We cannot end this without thanking those who make it happen every year, the sponsors. So we would like to express our gratitude to our gold, silver, and bronze sponsors. They do play a major role in giving active and notable Central New Yorkers some well-deserved recognition. Thank you. And that is 40 Under 40. We know your minds are already thinking about who might be on the list next year. And there are more rising stars out there, we know. Truly, I'm very happy I got to come back. And maybe we can do this in person next year. And that is all for me. But before you go, Marnie Nesher is back with a few more notes. Thank you, Tammy. You did a great job with all those names. Thank you again to our sponsors, especially M&T Bank, our presenting sponsor. Please don't forget, you can share this 40 under 40 video with friends and colleagues if they missed it this evening. A detailed article on each honoree is in this week's print and digital version of the Central New York Business Journal. I look forward to seeing you all next year for the 25th anniversary of 40 under 40. Once again, thank you, stay healthy, and have a great night. Sorry, there's a bug. Yeah, there's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I That's felt it. Need. You're not invited. I better redo this one. Oh, you want me to answer that now? Yeah, oh, sure. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hold it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. That's about it.